hello guys in this video we are going to set up web terminal in sandbox to work locally with Geekbash. right now on my left side i have a web terminal or sandbox open here i'm using my Geekbash. here this one is my web terminal so to open sandbox on your Geekbash, you just need to use your SSH credentials. First, you need to copy the SSH key, paste on the on the git push terminal, then enter. Then it will prompt you for a password. Copy paste, then enter. Then you will get something similar to mine. Okay, once you have set up your sandbox, the web, web terminal. What we are going to do is just we will use git for a local environment on your computer navigate to any location where you want to set up a git bash window right click on it then git bash here now this my this my git bash window What we are going to do is just we are going to set up our local environment so to do that you need to create a repo on your github you need to create a repo on your github account so mine i will call it uh, random just call it collab for the description for now just a short description Then I will create a repository. For this repository we have created, we need to clone to our local machine. Let's just copy the HTTPS, copy on your local machine, git bash window, git clone, paste the link, clone the rip on your local machine to see just type list list the files in your working directory we have collab so we need to change directory to collab cd change directory to collab now we are on collab if we print working directory you see we are on collab Okay, now from here we can we can create our files, create any file we want to push to our GitHub or we want to track in our web terminal. This is the place we need to do that. So I will just go ahead and create some sample files. So these are the files I've created. Let me just create one last file. Now if I do get status, I have an untracked files. So I need to do get hard. If I do git status again, git status, ah, yeah, I need to commit the files, message, and three files. If I do git status, everything is okay. 
one last thing i need to do is just do git push to upload these files to my github repository git push then enter now you can check on your repo the changes These are the changes from symbol one, two, three, four. Yeah, once that is done, once that is done, now we need these changes to reflect on our web terminal or sandbox. Okay. So to do that is we just need to clone the same repository. Just clone. We just need to clone the same same repository i will copy the https link then do git clone okay let me reconnect let me again reconnect i'll copy the ssh key then we'll continue okay all right now i have reconnected my web terminal and my sandbox on git bash and then one thing in case you are you are in you are ssh is not recognized by your system there is a link in the description that will solve that just check the link in the description then you are good to go we'll just go ahead and keep clone our repo copy the https okay it's successful if you go and then if you call list the files you find that we have collabo we need to change directory cd into collabo if we do list files you find that we have the same same files from Simple one up to four. Yeah. One last thing we need to do is just we need to use git pull for future changes. Now what does this mean? This means that in, in case we make some changes on our local environment we need to push them to github then on our sandbox we just need to use git pull command to bring the changes okay i will just demonstrate using an example for you to see i will create a new file called symbol5 then do git git hard symbol5 if i do git status yeah we have a new file i need to commit message is message is simple file add it yeah last d is push our changes to github yeah now we can observe the changes yeah i do refresh we will have symbol 5 here the commit message is symbol 5 added exactly as this one and then if you go to our uh, sandbox we do ls you find that we don't have simple five we only have this one so for the changes to be updated just keep pull yeah if you, you list the files ls you see that we have simple five okay let me list in a list and hold that manner 
we have symbol 5 yeah okay let me just make one last change for understanding let me just one make last change for one understanding okay we'll get i will touch i will create a new file touch symbol 6 then kit and symbol 6 then kit commit message and it symbol 6 then kit push to upload to a github repository now refresh to see the changes here refresh to see the changes here symbol 6 will appear now all right symbol 6 with a commit added symbol 6 now for the changes to take effect on a sandbox we just do git pull first we can check by ls all list list all the files in a list in an ordered manner you see that we turned out symbol six if we do pull git pull then do ls list all we have symbol six so guys i hope this video has answered some of your questions what you've been looking for in this video and uh, i just have one request subscribe to this youtube channel because i'll i'll be uploading more videos and then of course you will get notifications if you subscribe to the youtube channel so guys i don't have much to say now just see you in another video bye bye